Well, that's right, Jim. This site opened at 11 o'clock this morning. They were offering just over 300 of those third doses. And through the appointments online, they already had all of them spoken for before those doors opened at 11 o'clock. People with these medical issues feeling that they are clearly more susceptible, particularly to the Delta variant, and not wanting to take any chances. Dressed. We want to uh, save lives. This is a way to save lives. A line out front before the doors open. People with appointments wanting a third dose now that it's available. It's nothing to it. It's something you can do for other people. I don't understand why people are not doing it. A good number of breakthrough cases are people vaccinated, but other health issues keep them from being as protected as others receiving vaccine. They don't have as high of an antibody response to the vaccine, so it's recommended they get a three dose series. The county opened the Eastmont Park site to make sure people eligible would have an additional spot to get them rather than just area pharmacies. As soon as he got it, I, I teared up and I'm still kind of emotional about it. Her husband, the recipient of a double lung transplant, clearly needs maximum protection. It's so important for people like Dan, for me, because it, it's just my mental health to know that there's a lot less risk, you know, when we when I go out that I'm not going to bring it home to him. Never thought I had problems with my lungs. And you can, I mean, even right now, I'm, I'm using oxygen. With anywhere from 350 to 500 new cases daily still being reported in Seminole County, the highly contagious Delta variant dominating the COVID landscape, the third shot is in high demand. Because Mindy is my caregiver, and if she gets sick, what do I do? The availability here, getting an enthusiastic thumbs up. I'm doing the best I can to protect everybody I'm around. We want to save lives. That's the whole purpose of this thing today. And again, by appointment only online, this site will be available again on Thursday, Friday, all the way through Saturday evening. And again, you don't need a prescription to come here, but they do suggest that you at least consult with your doctor. And also, this site is for third doses for people who have underlying medical issues that qualify, and then they can come here and get that third dose. Reporting live in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Dave.